I'm so passionate about African manatee. It's just a gentle, beautiful animal. When I first heard that hunters were killing a lot of manatees, it really haunts me. The box is beaded with cassava. It has a door that is left open for the manatee to come in. Then the door is shut. While it's still alive, then the hunter comes with harpoons and pierce it to death. It's disheartening to see this cruel method being used. I know I needed to help to stop the killing of African manatee. At the same time, I also know that the hunters too, they have a kind of connection to what their parents, their father, their father, fathers have been doing. So I needed to figure out a way to marry a number of things out, stopping the killing of African manatee. Then also the hunters, how do they support their families? My major area of research focus on fishing gear modification. So I was able to come up with a technology. We have a new design of a cage that they can use. And then outreach program. Let them know what is the status of African manatee. Why should they not hunt it? And what are the benefits if they don't? Convincing them, it was not easy. It took over six months of visiting, uh, having series of meetings, having different outreach programs. Then when they now had, it takes two years gestation period before a manatee can give birth to a calf. It touched them. It was obvious that they are going to drive the population into extinction. So they agreed to stop hunting for an alternative livelihood. We were able to train them on construction of the cages that can be used to raise fish. It costs low. It's also gender sensitive, so to say, because it allows female fisher folks. We train them, they all give up hunting, and they remove all the traps that they use to hunt the manatee. And they did that very happily. And up to now, there's no killing in that community. Annually then, they were producing over 1.5 tons of fish. Over time, they have now joined in educating other people. They now share their own experience at other community to let them know, please, let's come together. Let's stop the killing of African manatee. In 2021, I attended a conference and one of the presentations that was made was the use of passive acoustic monitors to be able to see what is manatee habitat to use. So we discussed and went into a collaboration. And now, for the first time, we can now listen to manatee vocalizing. We can now identify individuals and that will help us to be able to know what is the population of African manatee in different water bodies and how do they migrate. The very first time that I heard their vocalization, oh, very, very touching. When you listen to it, I felt kind of connection with them. Every day that I need to continue to work on conservation of African manatee, I know there's going to be a challenge, but the level of success that we are achieving keeps driving me. The hope that one day we'll have a Nigeria free of hunting of African manatee keep giving me the joy to continue